Vancouver here. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate that. I'm uh, going to do a little um, four flip cup pour on a 10 by 20 canvas for you today. But before we get started with that, I want to show you a few new fun things that I've got lined up to do. Um, I've had this ceramic fish in my bathroom for years and I've decided why have I not thought to pour over him before now? So I'm going to be doing that soon. I've also got a few new glass vases and stuff. So I bought this one at the dollar store yesterday and also this one. And then I've actually had this third one here a while and have been debating about pouring over it. So I think I'm going to be pouring over it. It's quite a bigger, heavier one. And then I bought some other really fun things at the dollar store. Let me just show you what I bought. I decided that I think one of probably the top three of my favorite things to do are to pour over things. So I got this little package of wooden shapes. So there's a flower, a heart, uh, a little oval, and a star in it. And then I bought three individual um, bigger ones, a star, a heart, and a little flower. So I'm going to coordinate those bigger ones with the little ones. <clears throat> And then I also bought another one of the mortar, mortar and pestle sets that I did the uh, beautiful dot mandala project on because I really wanted to do another one and I really liked that. And I bought these three little uh, boxes, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them. I might do some dot mandala on those, but, or just pour into them or over them, have some fun with those. And I also bought this wooden hanging sign, so I think I will got a nice little string so I think I will pour over it and then probably stencil some words of wisdom <laughs> some inspirational quote or something on it and then the last one I bought that I think is going to be fun but tricky to pour over it's an actual wooden trivet but it expands sorry for the squeak there so yeah it's going to be interesting to pour over that so exciting projects coming up but let's get started with today's oh, let me grab a pair of gloves Okay, so I'm using again some favorite colors of mine, again, and I mentioned on a 10 by 20 canvas. So uh, I guess these are the all Artist Loft ready-made pouring paints in the aqua, sorry, the violet, the uh, aqua green, the brilliant blue, or sorry, bright blue, and the deep yellow. And I'm also going to be using the metallic white. Uh, these ones are in cups though because I have put some silicone in each of these. So we're going to give those a stir and then we'll start layering them in the cups. So let's give each of these a stir. Good stir so that the silicone's mixed in thoroughly and you don't end up with big oil blotches anywhere on the canvas. I did two little cups because I bought the little paper cups. They're a little bit more environmentally friendly and but they only have them in the one size and I want to make sure I have enough paint if I don't use all of this paint for this project I'll certainly use it for another so it's not going to get to go to waste at all so just giving those a good stir I hope everyone is still doing fine I am lots of provinces states countries are starting to open up again which I think it's good and I think it's time as long as we are doing it carefully which Everyone seems to be, all the governments seem to be doing that. So that makes me happy. Uh, the other thing, so that means there's potential actually for me. I work in an optometry office, a clinic. Uh, so there's a potential I'm hoping by either the middle of this month, middle of May or end of May, that I might be back to work. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. At the same time, I'm a little bit nervous about it, but we'll see. Okay, last one, the deep yellow. The next project that I won't be filming, of course, is uh, I've been emptying, using up paints that I had mixed a while ago, and so I've been using them out of my squeeze bottles so that I can get them emptied and redo the squeeze bottles, um, re, uh, refill the squeeze bottles with, you know, paint and Floetrol water mixtures. 
Um, we're getting low on full troll, but I did buy some Artist Loft pouring medium, so I'll use that for the first time, see how that works out. Okay, so those are all given a stir. Let's move the painting down into your view. I've got four cups here. I'm not going to be filling them all the way up, but probably about halfway. So I'm going to put them really close together though, so that I can just kind of move from one to the other and not worry about drips. And I'll spread them out a bit. And I'm going to do a flip and drag on these because I think I've only done that once or twice and it's quite a nice, nice uh, effect. So we'll start off with some white. Then we'll go with the or the violet, I mean. Hoping to get about three layers out of each color, which is why I did the two cups. So let's not waste any. We can always do more. That is the good thing about the ready mixed paints is they're always ready. You don't have to mix up extra containers of them or anything like that. Um, now you do have to do something like I did where I'm um, separate, pulled them out into little cups so that I could uh, put the silicone in them. But uh, other than that, you don't have to do anything with them and you only have to do the silicone, of course, if you want to achieve some cells. All right, let's do the aqua green now. Well, I have to show you too some cool um, reusable um, sticks, paddle sticks that I got from the dollar store. I'll just quickly show you those uh, once I get the paints loaded and before I start tilting. So, but they're really cool and I like them because they're plastic, so they're washable, and I can uh, use them over and over again. So, okay, let's go in with the bright blue. I have used my popsicle sticks more than once too, um, but I think these other plastic sticks will be a little bit more environmentally friendly. Okay, last but not least, oh, sorry, one more, I almost forgot to put the blue in this one. Okay, I'm not worried about the drips I'm making because it's all going to get covered by paint anyways. Okay, let's go for the deep yellow. I really appreciate that more and more people are starting to subscribe to my channel. I'm very, very happy that you're finding something hopefully informative and enjoyable about watching my videos. I really appreciate that. I love sharing my art with people and just hope, you know, knowing that somebody is having um, a good time watching my videos and or learning something from them. I'm definitely somebody who loves to share knowledge, even though I'm definitely not a professional. All right, let's do so. This one's got a little bit more. Okay, so let's just add a bit more white. Just gonna add a bit to that one. Not as much. All right, let's go in with our last round of colors. I don't have as much in here. Like I said, I can always squirt a bit more right out of the bottles if I need to, but let's just see if I can use this I think I'm definitely gonna have more than enough paint so okay, next we have the aqua green Okay, 
and then the bright blue. Okay, and last but not least, the deep yellow. Okay, gloves are getting sticky. I do try and reuse my gloves lately too more than I used to because they are getting scarce. When I was at the dollar store the other day, I couldn't get any more. Now let's see here. I'm just gonna add just a little bit more white. That white's getting empty. Turn it upside down. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take, take these off here and flip them one at a time. So we'll do here. And here, and here, and here. Ooh, almost missed with that one, but that's good. All right, so I'll let those sit for a minute. In the meantime, while they're sitting, I'm going to show you the little paddles I got. So they're rainbow colored. I think they're meant for, you know, hors d'oeuvres and stuff, but they're quite fun. They got a little paddle on the side. They actually have a little groove in them. I don't there. You can see it there if I kind of flash it, which kind of gives them a little bit of a curvature so that you can really scrape things with them. So I think there were like 40 of them for like a dollar, dollar twenty-five, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so we're gonna flip and drag these one at a time. Let's start with this one over here. Oops, went off the end there. I wasn't quite intending to do that, but that's alright. We'll pick some of that up and put it on the corners. Okay, next one. I should have maybe tightened this canvas. I have noticed about these 10 by 20 canvases from Artist Loft, these particular ones, that they do tend to sag in the middle, but that's okay, we'll work it out. Oh, that's pretty, really pretty. So I'm just putting some paint along there so it'll make it easy for it to pour. And last one. Oops. Okay. Again, just went off the edge a bit. That's okay. There we go. Look at that. Look at the cells coming up already, and I haven't even done anything to it yet. This is going to be fun. Now let me just see. I had a piece of cardboard here I was saving to use as a corner catcher. Let me just grab it. Not a big one, I could probably use a longer one, but this will work. Let's see here. All right. So I think I'm going to um, do this end first so that since it's closest to being covered, and then we can start, well, uh, torch a little and then start moving towards the sed. Because I've already got magnificent cells coming up here. So we're just going to Lock it down, as Julie Cuts from Pouring Your Heart Out likes to say. Lock it, lock it, lock it. So that you stretch out your cells, but don't lose their roundness too much. Alright, well that one went over the corner over there on its own. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Alright, I'm just going to turn this around. Hopefully without dripping any on my floor. It's hanging over the end of my table. There we go, look at that. I don't even think I need to torch this. This is magnificent looking, but we'll give it a little torch, not too much, just to see what else we can bring up. Plus it helps get rid of the air bubbles. Because all those paints were just shaken up before I started the video, so. All right, so let's continue walking our paints back and forth. 
get them to cover up those other corners. Bring it back to center a little bit. I don't want to move all this, lose all this purple here because I love it. Purple is my favorite color. If, if you've been watching any of my videos, you probably know that by now. Okay, let's see if we can get this to go over without losing all of the purple. Okay, so let's see if we can just bring this down a little bit. And this way you've got lots of paint on this canvas, probably way too much actually. So I'm going to go this way a little bit. And then back that way. We'll get some more of it off. Wow, this is looking beautiful. Loving this. Such bright colors. And such awesome cells. I'm just going to tilt it this way a little bit. And back down this way. And that way. Okay. I think I like that. Just as is. I've got a new arrangement of my uh, camera and using my a tripod instead of what I was using before. I figured out a way to uh, put my little camera tripod, foam tripod, onto a regular camera tripod. So I'm trying this out. Hopefully it's working well. I can tell that you can see it because I have the camera facing me. Uh, but really, really like this. So we're just going to pause for a minute. I'll do a little bit of cleanup here and then we'll bring you in for a close-up. So be right back. Okay, we are back. Cleaned up a little bit there. Scraped my edges. So don't forget to use your finger or a palette knife like this or anything you want. Popsicle stick, whatever. To scrape your edges on the bottom like this. So that you're taking off any excess paint so that it doesn't drag your gorgeous composition off the edges. I usually do that several times. Certainly right away at the beginning. Or at the beginning as in when I've done my composition and I'm happy with what I've poured but I usually also do it again about 10 or 15 minutes after that and sometimes even more than that. This one has a lot of paint on it so I may end up doing it at least one more time. So here we are with the good view, the whole view of this and then we'll take you in for some close-ups. Amazing cells in this. Huge cells, clusters of cells. I really like it. It's very interesting looking. So let's go down into this bottom left corner here. You can see definitely a grouping of cells here and even some nice lacing right there. Very, very pretty and sometimes there's some colors within colors there. So I really like how we've got this nice green here, which of course is the blue and the yellow mixing together. We'll move along the bottom edge here. I love these stripes here. These are really interesting to me. That's what I was trying to balance was these stripes when I was going back and forth there when I was pouring. I like this one. Looks like a where is it here? Sorry, let me find it for you in the camera. Uh, now I just lost it. Where did it go? There's one there that I saw that was like a split cell. Made me think of, you know, twins kind of thing. Um, anyways, yeah. And this is going to keep morphing as we go. So um, as it dries and, and still moves around a little bit. There, there's the one I was thinking about right there. So I like that one there. And again, more lacing up through here that I really like. And then moving over to the right hand corner. Love, love, love this streak right here. Purple and yellow, so pretty together. Purple and orange too. And then we've got tons of cells over here. Tons of them. Just love this. And love these little white dots too, because again, this whole section here, at least like this little strip, kind of looks like a galaxy. So then we'll move up slowly up here to the top right corner. Again, some beautiful cells up there and color blendings. So, so pretty right in here. And moving across the top. Again, lots of big cells, color blendings, lines. It's a very, very cool looking pour in my opinion. Love this big blue one right here. This is huge and I just love it. And then the top left corner, I love this little lines here. Really, really awesome. So I'm really, really happy with this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click the like button and click on the little subscribe box down there at the bottom. And don't forget that little bell notification so that you'll be notified when I do my next video. I do post on Sundays and then usually Wednesdays or Thursdays.
depending on my schedule. So look for those videos, and I hope you will subscribe and like this one or any of my videos that you watch. Have a great day. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.